these new washers think they're so smart that they do everything for you and they make up your mind about how you want to wash your clothes and how you want to soak your clothes and no you can't open the lid now i don't like that my washer is trying to control me Welcome back to my channel. I have a new Dollar Tree haul video to share with you guys today. So if you like Dollar Tree hauls, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I do Dollar Tree hauls quite often as well as mommy videos, cleaning and organization videos, fitness, homeschooling videos. So tons of stuff on my channel every single week. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. So the exciting thing about today's Dollar Tree haul is that they are actually already getting out a lot of their fall and Halloween decor. Yes, I realize it's just now August and I know that these stores push us into these holidays and these seasons too early, but I do really like when they get out their fall stuff. I don't have a problem with fall, I just don't like winter. So fall I'm okay with. So yes, it's a little bit early to be thinking about fall decor maybe, but I like to get things when I see them, especially at the Dollar Tree, because if you watched my Dollar Tree hacked video, I talked about getting things from the Dollar Tree when you see them, because a lot of times those things will sell out before the actual season or the actual holiday actually arrives. That's always a lot of actuallys, but you know what I mean. So I like to get things when I see them. I will link the video up here where I talk about different hacks for, you, for shopping at the Dollar Tree and I will also link it in the description box below for you guys. So let's get into what I picked up. I'll start with the fall stuff first. I got mostly fall things and then a couple non-fall things. But I found this really cute like garden steak and it's just pretty fall colors and it says home sweet home. There was another version at a different Dollar Tree that said I think welcome to my pumpkin patch or something like that. But when I was at the first Dollar Tree I went to, this was the only one that they had. But I think it's really cute. It's pretty sturdy. And we've had these Dollar Tree steaks before. They're not going to last you, you know, years and years and years because sometimes they do get a little rotted down here at the bottom. But it's really cute. And for a dollar, I thought that'd be really cute to put in our front flower bed. Also, I was really excited to find these because, oh, mine's chipped. Well, I'll exchange that one. But anyway, I was really excited to find these like shiny pumpkins. These look like something you would see at Pottery Barn or anywhere more expensive, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. Our store had three different sizes. They have like this kind of rose gold, shorter pumpkin, a typical gold, taller one, and then a kind of an orange, um, different shape. So I like that they're all different shapes so that if you're gonna use them together, there's a little bit of a height difference for all three of them. So I think they are really, really pretty. They're not plastic, so you will have to be a little bit careful with them. But for a dollar a piece, even if they're more than a dollar, I think they look really nice. And I'm excited to use those in our fall decor this year, which I may be doing a fall decor tour. I did one a couple years ago. So if you want to see another one for this year, then make sure you hit the thumbs up button so that I'll know that you want to see a fall decor tour. And every year, my, my girls typically like to pick up some kind of a little Halloween, like, animal or something. We've got black cats. We've got little ghosts from last year and the Dollar Tree this year has this cute little spider. So he's got like this flocked kind of body with the little googly eyes and then his little eight legs are plastic. And we thought he was really cute. The girls named him Calum just because of a character they watch on a TV show. I had something to do with spiders. I don't know what the reason was, but his name is Calum. Really, really cute. And we're excited to add him to our little family of Halloween critters. I also picked up these craft kits. They had, I think, two more versions, but we picked up the pumpkin craft kit. So it comes with the shapes. There are six packets in each one of these. It comes with all the little pieces that you need to make these little pumpkins. And then we also picked up the little spider. We thought he was really cute. So we got those. We also always like to get our window clings and our little clings to go on the refrigerator for the holidays at the Dollar Tree. So this year we picked up, this one's actually for Thanksgiving. This guy is magnetic and everything is an individual magnet. So if you look at the back, even his little feet are magnets. So the girls like putting these on their refrigerator. And then we got this one for the window that says give thanks and has this little turkey and some pumpkins. So that was cute. And then for our back door, which has like a big glass panel, we like to use these vinyl clings for that. So just got these little pumpkin decals. And then at the end of the year, we usually throw them away. I've tried to save them over the years, but they tend to get curly and they don't stick very well the next year. So this is the pattern that we got for this year. I also found these 10 LED leaf lights. They are kind of an orange color, all these maple leaves. I thought these were really cute because I have a little glass dome in my kitchen that I use to put um, different seasonal decor in and I change it for summer and spring and fall and Halloween and all that stuff. 
I thought these would be really cute to put inside that little glass dome. So I don't think I wish was that they came with a timer, but I guess for a dollar you can't expect that. But they are really cute. I think they'll look cute in that glass dome. I also might be having the girls a Halloween party. I haven't decided yet, but I picked up a black light bulb just in case. They had tons of these in their Halloween section. And if I do end up having them a party, I'll probably change all the light bulbs downstairs into black light bulbs. But I just got one for now, just in case. And I think that's all of the, ha oh no, I got one more thing. This is the last fall related thing. And it's a little pumpkin sign that's got a chalkboard painting on the front and it says, I am thankful for, and it's got like little metal leaves up here and then a little twine up here to hang it with. And I think that'd be really cute. And we can take turns each changing the pumpkin to different things that we're thankful for each day leading up until Thanksgiving. So that is the last of the fall stuff. I got a couple things for homeschooling, just general reading education type stuff. These were new in our Dollar Tree. They had, a, I think, two more in this series of these level three reader nonfiction reference books. You guys know I'm an Usborne Books and more representative, so I get tons of books from there, but I thought these were nice to have on hand as well, and I wanted to show you guys also. So if you open it up on the inside, they are a hardcover book, and then they just have lots of real pictures and then facts about whatever the book is about. We've got sea life, reptiles, animals, space, and bugs and like I said there was I think at least two more different ones one or two different ones that we didn't get um, but I think these are really nice to have in any home library or classroom also in kind of the homeschooling category or education category I picked up this breakfast bites for your brain grade one workbook I had never seen these before and they only go up they go from pre-k all the way up to grade two our store was out of the grade two one so I went ahead and just got grade one and what I like about these is they're little workbooks that have a word of the day, a daily digraph, morning money, morning math problem, make this day count. So each day is a little bit of a different mixture of different types of reading and math problems to really get your child's brain thinking. It'd be good to do in the summer as a quick activity to keep them from forgetting everything they learned at school. Um, so we'll be using this at some point with my youngest daughter who is technically going into second grade. But some of these things are still things that she could stand to use a little bit of extra practice on. So I picked that up for her and I will be looking for the grade two version just because I do want to have that one for her as well. I picked up another one of these scratch it things. I got one of these for my youngest daughter, my youngest daughter when we went to Disney this year um, for her car pack kind of toys to play with. She loves these things. So basically it has like a colored background but it's all black and it comes with a little it's not very sharp, but a little wooden stick that's kind of pointy at the end. And they can scratch off different designs. And she loves things like that, so I picked her up another one for next trip to Disney. I also picked up a shower curtain liner because I'm really upset about this. I have fabric shower curtain liners in both of our bathrooms that I love because I could always just rewash them, bleach them, and get them clean and hang them back up. I've talked about them before. I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond, but... We have a new washer now and the stupid thing will not let you soak anything. So what I used to do is like fill up the washer with hot water and some bleach and I would put the shower curtains in the bleach water and let it soak and it would kill all the mildew and mold and all that stuff. Get them all nice and white and I would hang them back up. These new washers think they're so smart that they do everything for you and they make up your mind about how you want to wash your clothes and how you want to soak your clothes and no you can't open the lid now. So I don't like that. I don't like that my washer is trying to control me. But anyway, this new washer does not let you soak anything. So unfortunately, I'm not able to soak our shower curtains and get them clean anymore. So it looks like it is back to plastic shower curtain liners that I throw away every single month because I cannot get my other ones clean. So that's unfortunate, but at least I can get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And the last thing that I picked up, and I'm not sure how good this is going to be, is this oral care kit. I basically got this just for this little pick that's got two sides, it's like a metal pick, kind of like what they use on you at the dentist. I had one before, but evidently it's gotten dropped or something because the tip of it is bent now and I can't use it as well. I like to do it because I like to use it to help me clean around my permanent retainer. I have a permanent retainer that's like glued to the back of my front teeth on the front, or the back of my teeth on top and bottom. Um, because where I had braces and then they put permanent retainers on you so theoretically your teeth don't get crooked again um, but it's really hard to clean around so I really like having a pick like this to, to help me clean around my retainer um, so I don't know how sharp it's going to be I don't know how well it's going to work but I did pick that up it does come with a little mirror a tongue thing a tongue cleaner I don't know and a toothbrush so I picked that up just to give it a try and see how it works so that is everything from my Dollar Tree haul for this trip. Um, as I said, I'm really excited that they are getting their fall stuff out. 
they said they'll be getting more things out as time goes on. That was just kind of their initial shipment of fall and Halloween stuff. If we do end up having a Halloween party for the girls, then I will probably, I will be posting about that here on my channel. So make sure you stay tuned if you're interested in that. Make sure if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the things that I showed or any other fall decor because they had tons, make sure you head to your local Dollar Tree like as soon as possible to see if they've gotten their fall stuff out and you can get the jump on all the other people that are going to be purchasing the fall stuff here in the next few weeks. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.